So why do you want to handle some of your error cases? Well, the reality is sometimes you don't want your program to crash or you want it to crash with grace. And I use air quotes here because you you know, you can't handle whatever the issue is, but you you want to at least safely kind of have a parachute that, you know, leads you to the ground sort of uh so to speak. Uh here's a great example, you know, if Minecraft is still popular. Uh, what happens if you lose a uh, connection while you're trying to play online? Well, in this case, in this earlier version of Minecraft, uh, what they would do is they would actually say, oh, well, you happen to have an error that the connection was lost. At some point, uh, it, it ran out and it gives a little error message here. Uh, and then specifically, it you know is still giving you some sort of catch-all of what to do if uh, this crash happens rather than your program just shutting down completely. Very similar, I happen to use uh, conditional or uh, exception handling uh, inside of typos, uh, quite a number of places um, for debugging and for processing. So for example, you have to do typing exercises as part of this uh, class. Well, I have to evaluate them because uh, it's happening online and you may not uh, finish the entire thing, uh, so to speak. So if we just kind of walk through this step by step, the first thing I am doing is I am processing first, what was the code for that, that particular exercise? And then what did you type? This is first to allow me to uh, just do some processing. That's where that sanitized code comes into play. That's mostly because Windows and Macs and they, they handle different things like the inner key differently. So I have to do a little bit of sanitizing cleanup uh, before I wanna compare these two strings. Then you might notice, again, I have a try statement going on here. And specifically what I am going to do is I want to grab character by character, whether or not you type the correct word. And so that's exactly what I'm attempting to do here. Grab that character at I and then do the exact same thing for student. And you may notice that I actually have multiple try statements. So as you can probably already guess, yes, you can in fact uh, do multiple tries within each other. But specifically, what happens if just using this as an analogy, you don't type out everything. And it's not that you, you know, made a, a typo, you just, you tried to submit early, right? Well, if I, my I say, for example, is uh, character 100, and you only had uh, 99 characters in your uh, submission. Well, this trying to reference a 100 when no, no character at, or there is no uh, element at index 100. Well, that's going to error uh, my program. And so explicitly, you can see I have an accept block going on here where I say, oh, well, let me catch an exception. Now, just to point out a little bit of the fancier things going on here, you see that there is an as e. And as e is just saying very similar to when we were handling files, like with open as fi, it's giving a variable. So it's taking that exception and making it a variable. Now the other little portion here is specifically, you may notice that there's something called raise. Now what this is doing is instead of me uh, just handling the, the, the program, what I'm doing instead is saying, this is the explicit error that I want to happen. Oh, it's an assertion error and I'm giving some message as well. So in this case, uh, instead of doing just the print statement saying, oh, you know, you can't divide by zero, I'm actually saying, here's the feedback I want from this type of error uh, in just a little more detail. So in this case, uh, where, what, what number was going on here. And so you may notice that if you attempt to go to typos and type uh, only half of the program, when you submit, this is actually the feedback you're going to get verbatim, because this is actually the, the message uh, that I'm telling you, you forgot to do. And just to sort of go through there, you can see I have some other ones as well. What happens if you have, uh, instead of 
you didn't uh, crash uh, because you, you typed in everything, but you accidentally had a character uh, that was incorrect. Oh, well, I do the same error, but I could have given you different feedback. This is the uh, sort of larger accept handling where I take whatever exception that was and I'm just uh, extracting it out. So in this case, I'm grabbing what message, what the feedback was, and then what the character number was. This is mostly so I know specifically what line, uh, what line to highlight. That's just telling me, you know, uh, what line on typos to highlight for you. And then just some little pieces of information that we'll get into a little later that uh, tells me, oh, well, you didn't get any stars because you didn't get it right. Uh, again, here's the column number and the row number. So I can indicate what uh, line of code you were on. Here's the message. And here's just me being able to tell uh, the website you did not, in fact, uh, solve the typing exercise.